Hello there and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival, the creative mode without sound. For some reason I've been having some audio troubles, but not to worry, because I finally ordered a new PC. Yes, I'm finally getting the upgrade, which means much, much better quality in terms of, uh, well, video playback. You're going to get no, like, no uh, big frame rate drops, as you've seen all throughout the last year. It's going to be much better. It is a, I've got an absolute banger of a PC coming. I say that. But, uh, you know, it, it's it's good. It's much better than what I'm using, which is a gaming laptop, uh, roughly of the same price from about four years ago. It's over four years old, this uh, this laptop. Yeah, it's really done its time. I'm going to have to hold the screen up with tape. It's <laughs> I mean, it's just fried and uh, it's on life support. Also means better quality audio because there's not going to be some loud fans right by the microphone, which will really help. Anyway, since last time, um, well, I've not gone to Japan, as you can probably guess. So I decided to work on this instead, and I have completely finished the interior. I've, well, pretty much completely finished. I've just got a few finishing touches to do. I've, I've even done most of the lighting, so let's say you've just come in, just landed. Go out of god mode. Gonna have to add my own audio soundtrack, aren't I? Otherwise it's just me rambling and breathing. That won't be any good. Anyway, every single light in this hangar bay is a spotlight, and it all generally focuses on ship really highlighting it in the in the hangar got o2 station got this we got extra little bits up there which we will come to uh yeah pretty neat nice big open space uh, okay that was weird uh in here we've got well you saw this last time i think maybe well not since it's been textured we've added the light centers as well there is the garden looking absolutely swell very, very bright no lights on in here so I've added sensors to most of the lights to uh, help save, uh, help reduce any lag. Definitely helps. Over here, boom, look at that. Fantastic. Didn't do the ceiling, but you know, I'm going to keep it as it is. It gives it that sort of industrial uh, fit. It's there exclusively for purpose, not for pleasure. Got it constructed. We've got our furnace back there. Very good. Okay, now through here, that'll turn on. Here's where you got your ammo storage. Your armor storage. I need to label these cargo pallet, pallets. So I need to do. You've got your repair. Lay there. Very good. Uh, okay, and up here. Right, next floor. So this light's always on. Let's look through here. Boom. Everything's on. Everything's colored. Deconstructor. And away. There's the thingy for it. It's a lot of wasted space in here, but it's more of a sort of, well, if you need space to do anything, you've got it here. This is where you would put it. You've got your shield generator, pentaxid. You've got these containers here. I'm not sure what I'd put in this one. Maybe water? Perhaps water storage might be a good idea. And then you have a designated... Um, hmm, I think it would need to be more than that, though. Because water just takes up a lot of space, doesn't it? Right, and then we have the core room. Here we go, take a check this out. We've got some extra colours going on in here. Come down here, look what you can see. Look at that, pretty awesome, huh? Let's, let's begin with down here. We've still got the caution explosive materials, all the fuel tanks here. Yeah, not too bad. Gravity generator there as well. A very useful room, but it doesn't end there. Then up here, more lights come on. Oh, yes. Check that out, and then you can see the core through there. Yeah, nice, and it's like that all the way around. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this, uh, at least this part anyway. I really kept the design, the texturing so basic. It's just that same texturing as the ship itself, as the Explorer. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I'm happy with how this has come out. Uh, like I've, I've really just done this in a, in a sort of very, very quick way. I just want to get it done. You know when you start to feel the, uh, the fatigue of a build creep in. Uh, yeah, we, in here we've got the solar capacitor room, which is looking alright. I suppose. Let me change that back. We all want it just sort of clashes a bit too much. So what's going on down here? What was I thinking? It doesn't matter. <laughs> really not a big deal. Yeah, okay, got your O2. A little bit of O2 storage there. Over here. Right. Uh, let's begin with here. Sleeping quarters. We've got this lovely corridor for spotlights. Over here, fantastic view of the ships. Or the ship, rather. Pretty, pretty cool. I do love this feature, this little overhanging feature. Uh, okay, we'll start at the end one, make our way back. 
we got four beds here, a couple of closets, wardrobes as well. And I still need to censor these lights up. I was going to have a manual switch, I think, for them. Um, do you know what? Maybe I'll have this be a little less on how to do that. Just in case you don't know. Uh, how do I numlock? There we go. Yeah, we've got one here, we've got one there. Uh, is there anywhere else I can put these? Or is it really only right by yeah, this? Unless I put it up above, but a bit extra, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to put this as... We have to name the device. No, we don't actually have to name the device. We'll put this... We just have to name the signal, basically. Configure the signal. So we'll put uh, light. Hmm. No, we'll put uh, bed, room, end, light. Hmm. One. One, yeah, I guess one, and that can be two. Bedroom and light. Bedroom and light. Two. Yeah, all sorted. Okay. Bedroom and light one. Off. Lovely. That cut should come off. And we'll just bring lights over the, um, the bedroom itself, really. Over the sort of beds, rather. Uh, and then the other one is this one here. Didn't really seem to make much of a difference, to be honest. Uh, signal logic, bedroom and light two. There we go. Hmm. We have the lights on. What does that do? Yeah, I guess it's kind of like a reading reading light, isn't it? <laughs> ah, a bit useless, but uh, hey ho. Uh, yeah, we'll do something similar here as well. You've got the bunk beds if you uh, if you've got quite a few people on board. And you've got eight rooms here. Each room is ventilated as well. No peephole, I'm afraid, through this one. It's just a very open cavern, which... Hmm. Maybe an elevator, another, another set of beds, perhaps. It could be. You've got your bathroom in here as well, naturally. Closet, sink. Very good. To. I don't know. Where does that sensor light come out to? Come to think about it. Or is this light always on? Oh, do you know what it's not? Uh, bathroom. So we'll signal that up as bathroom. We will attach this to it. Bathroom. Uh, then we also need to configure it. So if we actually go da 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 da, -da device. Oh, hello. That is. To set up. That is a bit. Oh, okay. I'm inside it already. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, right. Let's go. Oh gosh, I hate this. There we go. No, that's great. So that up. No, wrong way. Okay. Cool. One, two, three, and four. Boom. One and two. And I think we're good. Let's just make sure it doesn't come out. It doesn't come out there. Uh, there we go. Right one. Should just cover this room. Shouldn't be sticking out here. No, cool. Nice. So now any time I go in and out, there we go. And that's how you signal it up. Simple as that. All right, next we've got the, I guess, lounge area. Uh, which is filled with a lot of spotlights. Um, that one covers a little bit more area, so you've got the door as well. Yeah, I'm not too keen on the brown ceiling. I think I was just trying to keep it sort of, yeah, in, in, in tune with the brown of the floor. This carpet area here, you've got window looking directly outside as well. Um, and again, you've got this lovely overseating area. Um, I do like the little blast sort of wall done here. Pleased with that down in the hangar. Didn't really address that, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. All right, so there you go. That's basically most of the interior. We've got just a bit more to do. We've got this O2 room in here. Very simple, simple and sweet. And then I've added a new room as well, Not just here for the hangar. This is the repair console. There is now a repair uh, bay just b beneath the uh, the hangar there, uh, somewhere in the middle, underneath. Um, yeah. So you'd be able to repair the Explorer. 
from this little room here. Which is nifty, it's just sort of getting out the way on the way to the control room or the ops room. So here we go, and here is ops. Looking very standard, looking very sort of, uh, as I remember, the Titan. Here it says Titan in this, uh, not the US Titan, is it? I'm busy getting confused with Star Trek. Oh, no, it's called the Titan. I don't think it's the USS Titan, though. Probably UFP or something like that. Uh, the tutorial ship, essentially. The one I use in Alpha 10 to, as my first base. Uh, yeah, it's the same sort of colour scheme as that, blue and white. Um, so yeah, that's pretty nifty. I wouldn't mind putting these two lights on the sensors, so that it's only when you're in here. Have I already put a little thing up? I wonder if I have. Let me take a look. Did I? No, I've not. Okay, well let's do that as well. Alright. This is going to be... Actually, am I going to be able to reach over there? Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's go interactive setup. And let's see how far we're willing to go. No, not far enough, apparently. Alright. Oh wait, let's get out of that mode. There we go. Hmm. That's fine, we can do it from here. Is that the right way? Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, P? Maybe? Right, there we go. Got, uh, numlock on. Which is weird, it's so annoying that we have to do that. Uh, yeah, I guess this can go... So what? Oh, that's the wrong way. That's... it is upside down. Cool, there we go, and then so you can go one down from whenever you start coming up here. Actually, no, do you know what? I can go here, go out to the sides like that to the end, and then the same over here. Look at that! Just double check this is all. Ugh. Bloody hell, these stairs are oh, damn difficult to get up. All right, yeah, good. That covers it. Whee. Okay, let's name this so we know which what to signal it to. So, uh, operations lighting. Operations lights, and that'll do. We'll put you there. Uh, so, signal operations lights. Do you want all lighting like that, or do you want some lights left on? I think we want some lights left on, you know. Also, we don't need to be in non-god mode anymore. I am going to be a god. Because the blue leaks out. The white I don't mind leaking out. You don't really notice it as much. You can see the sort of white on, which is fine. And so there you have it. That is our little bridge area. As you go down, those lights will switch off. Fantastic. Again, reducing lag and reducing, um, I guess, energy consumption, I suppose, but <laughs> given the size of this thing, I think that's pretty negligible. The only thing to do now is to texture the exterior. Oh yeah, I think I... Well, did I add these last time? I'm not sure if I did, so yeah. It kind of looks like it's a little... You know the Cylons from Battlestar Galactica? It's kind of like they're holding a little gun, going pew 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 pew. I mean, I had to make this the least gun-looking one possible, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I think I will, just because it makes it look a bit unusual. Uh, but yeah, what I need to do now is texture the outside, which is what I'm going to partially do today. I won't do it all, I'm just going to sort of do, I don't know, maybe this section, because this is the most fun section that I think we can make look really cool. So over here, it'll be pretty standard. Don't really need to do that on camera. So we'll just, we'll just do this side. It's going to give you something to look forward to in the actual playthrough. So if we go, we go large. Oh yeah. Go big or go home, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Really get, really get in those cracks there. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I don't think I don't see you. Okay, you are immune. Might be that way. Problem is, I'm gonna miss some. I'm gonna miss some. It's, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I have to be careful with that up there because I want that to be blue. Alright, let's switch this over to medium. And let's die. 
behind it here. So you're going to be the same, is it? Ah, oh, I've made this bright white. Is the, uh... Are you completely white or are you... No, you're actually that. Well, I did the wrong colour. <laughs> do we make it completely white? I think maybe we do. Even though the Explorer itself isn't. Um, might be nice, especially if we contrast it with like dark red turrets. It gives it a very... No, I should really make it exactly the same, shouldn't I? Mm, no, do you know what? I think it needs to be white. Yeah, otherwise it just looks too... It would look a bit too plain. Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and fill the rest of these in if we can. I know I'm going to miss some, but that's, that's fine. We can, I'm going to sort that all out anyway, off camera. Just get, just give it an idea of what this thing's going to look like when it's finished. Is all I want to do today. All right, there we go. Okay. A very good, a very good. So what are we going to do with these? I was thinking of going for a classic... Like something like this. Hmm. Potentially. Potentially. These are the things that stuff's being sort of, uh, I guess, transferred across. I'm not too sure if that's too, uh, a little bit too bright. For this, I might have to do it both sides then. Do you, are you, no, you're done all the way around? You are done all the way around. Okay. Interesting. Uh, let's start with this. We can see it behind there, so I'm not sure if I do want to make it all like that. Uh, I don't know. Let's look at all that. Need to make sure we get all of that as well. There we go. Something. Uh, anything else? Any more? There's those going down there. Oh, of course, there's ones over here as well, aren't there? There should be. One over here. Quite difficult to see, isn't it? See if there's any more. Yeah, look, there's ones here as well. Quite a lot back here. I don't think I will have those side ones as. Make you something else. It's appropriate and interesting. What does that look like? Eh, no, not, not really a fan of that. Uh, let's make you white. How's that look? That's acceptable. I just don't want to overuse the blue, the light blue, as I think you can see those details through the truss blocks. There's plenty of space for it, it really gives it a sense of a... I don't know, that something's going on back here. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm content. I'm content with that. I think that's alright. Uh, there is also something I want to do here, which I think this will look awesome whenever I've coloured this all in. In fact, let's quickly do that now. I do want to show you this. I think I'll look. Just swell. So, give this a little once over. Don't go too far. There we go. Alright, nice. Uh, we'll do something similar with this one here. So, back to small, back to bright. And over back to this. Or do we think maybe we want to go 
นานแล้วนะฮะนี่ล่ะเย่ขอ thank you too uh, especially the, this one here is a plasma turret so I think that gives it uh, sort of like it's the, the the ammo or the the juice for it or something as for this one eh, I don't know no no we're gonna keep it like that anyway and then we'll do the same this side here all right well anyway I'm not gonna spoil much more to be honest I'm gonna keep this one fairly short and fairly sweet um, I'm still using the old computer and it's so slow that Uploading a, a small video, a shorter video, would really help me out. <laughs> uh, well, I convert over to the new computer. Uh, by the time this comes out, though, I should have that lawn set up in theory. I really should, unless I have problems with it and have to send it back. Uh, fingers crossed, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, really, that's kind of it. So next time you're going to see this is going to be in the the Alpha 11 playthrough, um, probably this coming Saturday. Whenever this comes out, actually, I think. Uh, most likely, anyway. And then that's pr pretty much going to be the end of the playthrough. That'll be it. And we'll just wait on Alpha 12. Uh, anyway, I'm still going to carry on doing the creative uh, mode. I've got some ideas for what I want to do for the Alpha 12 playthrough, actually. Um, one or two retrofits and one or two new designs completely. Um, I'm also going to be uploading one thing on the Steam Workshop every month. Uh, that's something that's... I do want to do. I want to keep invested in that. Um, that also means you know you will get to use the designs that I create as well. So coming up next will be the the Pensive Explorer. Actually, this is what's going to be on the workshop next. I'm going to be uploading a CV, which I generally am not very confident in doing, but I figured you know what. Um, I feel like this has a place now in Imperion, and that is as a T2 to begin with, and then. It's upgradable to T3 and very, very serviceable as well. So, in that role. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. What am I doing next time? I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Take it easy and take care of yourselves.